Hello everyone and welcome to this week's extension quick tip tutorial. In this one, I'm going to be showing you about the create process function, which allows you to create a process as if it were an application being launched on your Windows or Mac computer. Then you'll be able to take the ID of that uh, process and monitor when it quits to be able to execute some code afterwards. This is super helpful for running applications or exe files, which do automation and a whole bunch of other cool stuff. So this would be a super simple and quick tutorial where we just go over the simple method itself and uh, the on quit method as well. Before we get started, I do want to remind you down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link. Make sure you follow us there for coding updates and in the description, follow us on Instagram as well for other live updates. If you're not already a member of the Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, hang out with our cool members and really smart people who can help answer all your questions. And if you'd like to help support us on YouTube and get cool perks at the same time, you can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP, link in the description. All right, so let's just go over it. First off, we have window.cep.createProcess. I'm just going to start and write it from this function here. This is a built-in CEP function, which allows us to basically take a path of a file and execute it. And the way it's actually executed it will, is it will actually show up in your list here in Task Manager or your Mac equivalent. And basically we can use that. And when we run uh, Create Process, it returns an object representing the application that's running as well as this PID. Now, what I'll do then is store this create process return into a variable. We could just call it test is equal to window.cep.process.create process. And the only argument we need basically is the path to the file. So for example, I have an extension here which has a bin file inside of it and a copy and paste executable which just uses the program auto hotkey to run a copy operation and a paste operation. So if I basically copy the path to here and include uh, my copy.exe. So if I copy that path and then make sure we have copy.exe and I'm going to replace all these forward slashes with uh, backslashes here. That way the formatting is appropriate. This is the full path to this copy.exe. If I was to just double click on that normally, it would run a control C or copy operation. And uh, what we can do here is just run this path with create process. Now what it's going to return to test is an object. And if we want to get the PID of the uh, application, which is important because we can use the onQuit method to know when it closes. We, we can basically say when this program's ID closes on the quit, we can execute more code inside of here. So let's go ahead and then say window.cep.process.onQuit and this is just like a, an event listener. So we can put in an argument and then function and close that out. And all the code in here will be run after quit. And what we do to detect uh, if the thing closes, again, we use the PID. And the way we get the PID is by using our return variable dot data. Now that's gonna look for when this copy operation is complete. When it notices it's gone from the list of applications or details running, it's then going to run any code I put inside of here. Lastly, I do want to mention you can put in multiple arguments for this create process function. I've seen examples of code where it has the first uh, argument be the actual path to the file that's being run or created as a process. And then you can use like other arguments like V or start adding things uh, depending on the formatting of your program that you're running. So once again, all you have to do is run window.cep.process.createProcess, provide a path to your file that you want to run, usually an exe or an application file on a Mac. This will actually return important information, so store that information. And we can also detect when this application is done running. When you say create process, it starts up the application as if you clicked on it. So then we're going to say, when we detect it's on quit, when we detect that it's quit the program, 
using the program's PID or program ID, we can then run some code. That's just a super quick tip that I've found in some very useful extensions. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, hit the thumbs up button down below, hit subscribe and the bell icon to be notified of new videos coming out twice weekly on the channel. And down in the description, you can check out the code for this in the GitHub link. Make sure you follow us there for coding updates and in the description, follow us on Instagram for other live updates. If you're not already a member of the Discord server, you can come and join and get help with scripting, extensions, plugins, expressions, submit tutorial ideas, and hang out with some of our awesome and knowledgeable members. And if you'd like to help support us financially, link for that is in the description. You can become a member, supporter, premium supporter, or VIP. Thanks again for watching, everyone. We'll see you next time.